And it's been nearly 48 hours now since the search for Cameron Jenkins started, and it continues tonight. Jenkins on the run after a shooting. A Cleveland County deputy, according to investigators, shot him in the chin and then killed a bystander yesterday morning, they say. News Force Hunter Elise joins us live from the new command center in Garvin County. Now, Hunter, I know they can't give away any of their strategy, but it, apparently they think he's still in that area because they're still looking there. Yeah, Kevin and Jolene, that is exactly right. Officers say they do have a central location of where Cameron Jenkins might be located, but the search could be expanding as the hours pass and there's still no end in sight. Really, listen, we're going to we're going to find him. We're going to we're going to bring him to jail. Cameron Jenkins on the run for a second day. Hundreds of officers searching multiple areas in hopes of finding anything that could lead them closer to the suspect. The area um, that we are searching and tracking this suspect down is still a wide area, not only a lot of Garvin County, but surrounding counties as well. We're, we're covering under every tree. We're checking in every, you know, every every possibility. We've, we've flown our drones. We've had the helicopters out here. Uh, we've had our dogs out here. But still no answer as to where Jenkins might be. We have pleaded with the families. We have pleaded with him. If he's watching, if he's not in this area, we're asking him to turn himself in. Uh, let, let's stop the charade. We spoke with a previous classmate of Jenkins. He was one of my best friends from school and it wasn't, I don't understand what happened because he wasn't violent. He was a really good guy. I was just very confused. I'm like, well, what? He shot a police officer? He's doing all this? What the heck? People in town say they're surprised a deadly shooting like this would happen in their own backyard. It kind of was like a little shocking, really, you know what I mean? Especially because you don't just hear about that kind of stuff in smaller towns. But he has a past with the law. Oklahoma City Police Chief Wade Gorley posted on social media saying, thankfully, the Cleveland County deputy shot by this guy will be OK. This is not the first time Jenkins shot at an officer and he should have been in prison. Police say they do plan to continue the search overnight. We want to say again, Jenkins is accused of killing one person and shooting a deputy. They believe he's still armed, so everyone in the area is asked to stay alert and call police if you see him. Live in Garvin County, Hunter Release, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you, Hunter. Here is another look at Cameron Jenkins, the man suspected of shooting the deputy. He's wanted and considered dangerous. If you see him or know where he might be, there's now an $11,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. If you spot him, call 911.